it is 39 degrees. Ugh. It's uh, 39 degrees Celsius outside today, which is like 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Wait, and, do you um, know the Fahrenheit conversion? I only know because I had to put it in a video the other day. I have Sam here with me and I am challenging him today. Mm. I'm going to give him $50 and uh, he's got to find some stuff for me. Oh, you weren't just going to stop there? You weren't just going to give me $50? That's a shame. We're on Victoria Avenue in Castle Hill, guys. This triggers my uh, anxiety because this is where I learned to drive. I did my driving test around here as well, and this road is just an absolute nightmare. There's like a hundred roundabouts on this road, and everyone wants to kill you. Just up ahead up here is Vinny's. Now, I don't recommend that you use this driveway. I normally recommend that you go up to the second driveway because it's really hard to find a park here, but it's a Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. and there's no one around, so we can get a park right out the front of Vinny's. Okay, hang on, what time is it? 3.20 p.m. Okay, you have 30 minutes, Sam, to buy stuff for me. I'm gonna go look at the homeware. Your budget's $50, okay? $50 of knickknacks. $50, yeah. Of anything I want. $50 of anything. For you. All right, let's get this done. The, oh, that's so cute. No, I'm getting it. Oh, 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 hi. Oh my gosh, okay, this is tempting. These are perfectly round little candles. I don't know if I need them. It's more of a, a want than a need. Sloth, color up. Sloth, color up. Sloth, color up. This mirror, look at it. This mirror is only $50. It's absolutely massive. I reckon I could get that and flip it. I reckon I could like paint it pink or like do that foam spray thing. Although $50 may actually be a little bit too much for it. I reckon like, possibly it's something like some gum tree for less, but oh, it's, that's so tempting. Oh my God, I don't believe it. Sam, 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 Sam. Let's take this to your place and flip it. Look at this, I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm shaken, this is from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova. I've never seen Fashion Nova in an Australian thrift store. What the heck? Look at this little coffee thing that Sam got. Please, read it out to them. I love this thing so much. It's for coffee and it is ideal for storage at home or on safari. At home or on safari. As you do. I As you do. been on safari many a time and thought, if only I had a place to put my coffee beans. That came to 130 100, exactly $130. But the thing was that I, right at the very end, I bought this shopping tote, and the shopping tote was, how much was that, $30? That was, was $29.95, so it was basically, essentially, a exact $100 split. So you did very well, you spend $50 precisely, I spend $50 precisely, and now we need to go see who has the best shit. Castle Towers. I haven't been there in years, because it's changed! And not in a good way, in a very, very bad way. Have you had your inner health plus today? Every Australian has heard that at least 53 million, million times. times in their life. <laughs> so, we are on our way to 7-Eleven. <gasps> Slushy. Slushies. Yes. Oh. An Australian tradition on a hot day is get a slushy from 7-Eleven. Surprise me, Sam. I, I want an interesting flavor. I don't want I don't want a basic flavor. Something interesting, please. Surprise you, you said. What if I came back with just a water slushy? I wouldn't be mad. 
Stay hydrated, kids. <laughs> literally every person that's walked out of that 7-Eleven has been holding a slushy. Like, literally every single one of them. Thank you. What have we got? No, wait, don't tell me. Mmm. Mango. Mango? Mango. Mm. Not mango? That is most certainly mango. The top is tropical guarana. Mm. The bottom is raspberry. Where did I get the mango? Mm. Sam! Oh my god! It's only 4.17. The thrift stores might be closed, but you know what is open? Bunning? Flower power! Goodbye, Yay! I hardly did any Black Friday shopping, but this, my friends, Black Friday goes green. Sounds good to me. I so badly want to buy some of those adorable little planters, but you know, the theme of the month is thrift shopping. That and if I want adorable animal planters, I'm going to have to buy something from a thrift store and make it myself. But you know what I can't buy from thrift stores? Plants. Plant. Plant. This thing is strange. I, mean, I, I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. It's shiny. It's, oh my God, this plant is shiny. What the exactly. heck? They, oh my God, these ones have polka dots. What on earth? Sam, mm. can you go get a trolley for me, please? Oh my god, what the hell is this? This is so cool. And they're all 20% off. Thank you, Sam. Semi provides. I'm sorry, variegated oregano? What? This is so beautiful. What is it? A Kalitha Makoyana, a hundred bucks. So they have heaps of these little pots that are absolutely adorable. This guy's 20 bucks. So I reckon if I can get just a cup, I can probably make something like this. If I put a nose on it, spray paint it, draw the face. I think I could do this myself. All right, we're back, back from plant shopping. One of the many perks of having Sam as my best friend is his fantastic workshop, which is at my disposal. So I'm going to turn this humble little spoon into a pendant. So here it is, it was $2 it's from Wodonga, Victoria. What is so great about this spoon is, not only is this part here quite pretty and would make a very nice ring, this part, if I remove the Wodonga thing, and if I turn it upside down, and if I drill a hole through it just here, that'll make a really pretty pendant. All right, I'm gonna take this knife that Sam made, and uh, I hope that this will come off easily. Oh, well, that was, that was a bit too easy. <laughs> You're gonna, what are you gonna cook? Ah, excellent. That sounds great. All right, we have three pieces now. We have the pendant, we have the ring, and we have yet to determine what I'm gonna do with this one. So Sam has this um, ring thing. It turns things into rings. Um, and he normally puts like a piece of copper or something to protect the metal, because otherwise it can leave dents. So I'm gonna take this little handle of the spoon uh, put it in, um, and then I, I hope, no, hang on, is this going to fit? Ah, oh, yes, it, that fits, um, but it's not going to fit with the 
with the copper thing, Sam. Alex, Alex. What? Am big, I doing something Big wrong? brain time. Big brain time. Straighten the copper. Oh. <laughs> right. I d look, I, it's not often that I bend metal with my bare hands. I'm not an avatar. This doesn't work with all spoons, guys. You can't just go into a thrift store, buy a spoon and expect that you can do this because depending on what the metal is, a lot of them just snap. What was that metal that we tried to work with, Sam? And a lot of them were made from cast iron and cast we found iron. that out the hard way. They just like completely snap in half. So it's only like the, uh, what is this? It's more than likely just like a steel that they've melted down, but it's just not a cast iron. Use those big muscles, Alex. Oh, I have no muscles. Go on, go on, get it. Look at the focus on his face. Oh, <laughs> I'm it. doing a massive shit. This is stunning. Mm. Point of view. Nice, nice, nice. So I just have to well, keep going you? until this is nice and perfect shape. It, does anything bad happen if I unplug this? We'll find out. Oh, shit. Did you nail it? <gasps> So I got this thing, this was $2 and it's pretty basic. It's just like a grid with a bunch of pegs and stuff on it. But I think that I'm going to screw this into one of the walls at my place and then put a climbing plant in front of it. I think it's gonna look beautiful. This is how we get to the back of the property. We cross the log. Oh my God. Sam, if you fall. Take all the clothes with them. See that tree? I'm going to model the heck out of that tree when I put on this beautiful dress that I bought. Time for Show and tell, Australian style, in the bush. Does it not fit? <laughs> well. Do you like it? I do. I guess it's technically my size, but it doesn't feel like my size because it feels really small, but it's meant to feel like that because it's meant to like, body con. How do you rate it, Sam? At least an eight. Like I'm gonna give myself some upward movement in case something's better. So let's, let's go a solid eight. Okay. <gasps> Dress two, except I can't zip it up. No, oh, it's too small. You know what? It probably doesn't fit because of this absolutely enormous push-up bra that I've got on. Oh, well like then... like 10 times my size. Hang on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, it does up now! Oh, sick. Oh Perfect. my god, that bra literally made me an entire one size bigger on the chest. I have no idea what I look like because I can't see. Cute as f and I know that I've got like a vested interest to say this one's awesome because I picked it, but like, I think it's awesome. Even though I don't know what I look like, I, I think that I look cute. I think this is a, an excellent find, Sam. How much was this, $8? I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was the $8 bracket, which I think is, I mean, amazing for what it is. Like, it's got frills on the shoulders. It's like it's nice length. Short. Oh, it's a little bit short. okay, sorry. Now. This one is Beck and Bridge, and if you are from Australia, this is a designer brand that you may have heard of. Super expensive. All of their stuff is like at least three hundred to a thousand dollars, like I think from memory. So this was ten dollars. So ten dollars for a Beck and Bridge dress is very, very good. This would have been very expensive, <laughs> like really expensive, and it was only ten dollars. I have no idea what it looks like though, and I really need to know. So can you like do the front cam? Ugh. Oh god, my hair looks ridiculous. I mean. I am like jumping out from behind trees in the bush. So like, what did I expect? This is, I don't, I don't like it. It's, it's too tight. Actually, I don't know. Maybe, 
maybe if I got some shapewear or something, maybe I'd feel a little bit better. It's unusual. I like the colour. Look how much it's... <sighs> <laughs> Is this a top or a dress? What do we think? Um, is this a top or a dress? You know, it's like that Sunday morning and your partner is out in the kitchen making eggs or something and you wander on out and it's like they're just wearing a top for some weird reason. It's, it's like that. Or if you were like in Hawaii, say, and you were wearing swimwear underneath oh, and you just wanted something yeah. to like take on and take off. For me, it's beach holiday wear or like Sunday afternoon at home, or if you were going out to dinner, then yeah, probably like throw on some leggings and it's just like a nice flowy top. I, I really, really, really like this. Can I see the front cam again? Yeah, I see what you mean. It is more of a, more of a top. Next up is this dress that I found in the prom dress section. Now this is interesting. The brand is called David House and it says made in Australia. There's not much clothing at all that's made in Australia. You never find it. So this is rare, a unicorn, and uh, it was $20. <laughs> look, look at me in this dress. I did bring high heels with me to the bush. I don't know, there's just, there's something about Hello Kitty shoes that doesn't quite add a layer of glam. <laughs> Follow me to the stump. This I gotta see. Actually, first, I gotta see what I look like, because like, maybe I'm feeling my oats, but I actually look ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, no, model this. <laughs> model this blind. Does it look bad? No, it looks amazing. You're making me feel self-conscious now. No, you look amazing. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Okay, all right, I like it. Let's go. Of course you like the it. Stump. It's great. To the stump we go. Please don't fall down, Alex. Oh my god, there's kangaroo poo on the stump. Alex, it's Australia. What did you expect? Look. Yeah, well... There's a quite literally kangaroo poo on the stump. Alex, that is wallaby poo, you absolute cretin. Yeah, true. What's an elegant way to sit? Like that. Is that, is that nice? That's beautiful. Stunning. We love it. Amazing. Yeah, I feel like a bun. What? Uh, no, you looked amazing. Mind, mind you don't lie down too far because then you're going to get your head in the poo. Let's be fair, I actually don't know how to model, so um, I'm just going to elegantly sit on the stump in my beautiful dress, which, as far as I'm concerned, the dress has, like, won the thrift shopping challenge. Is that, is that pretty? Don't get too close to the poo. How's that? Nice. Do I look like a model? You do. There's another stump I can model on. There's no poo on this one. Just dirt. Am I a model yet? Yeah. Like, put any girl anywhere in nature. Instant model. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, ba oh, wait, wait, what's that? There's this song going around on TikTok. It's, um... Space girl, I saw a lunar eclipse. Um, looked like space girl, I saw a lunar eclipse. Oh, I forgot again. Yeah, no, that is it. Looks <laughs> like how I feel about your lips. <laughs> Ah, oh, get me down from here. Do you want your Hello Kitty shoes back? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> We're all glam here, kids. Ta-da! Okay, so this song oh. is by a brand called Country Road. If you are in Australia, I believe it, it's an Australian brand, but I don't know. Maybe it's an international brand, I'm not sure. Uh, not associated with John Denver. This top actually has like these long sleeves built into it, which I, 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 when I pulled it off the rack, I thought that it was a little ribbed gray t-shirt, which I love. I think it's a staple, you know, like you put it on with high-waisted jeans 
and a belt and some big hoop earrings and you look like you've come off Pinterest. But uh, when I saw that it had the little sleeves, at first I hated them and I actually put it back on the rack and I was like, no, do not want. Then I saw that it was $8 and I was like, hmm, I could cut the sleeves out. But now that I'm wearing it, aside from the fact that it's a, a stinker here today, I actually, I don't mind the sleeves. What do you think, Sam? Do you like it? I think it's great. Like with those jeans, that is, that's a, that's excellent. Like, you think this looks good? Yeah, I, I like it. Let me see, show me, show me. You never take my word for anything, Alex. Do you think I'm lying to you all the time? There's this insecurity to see me. I don't know, guys, tell, tell me what you think in the comments down below. It's it's all right. The thing is, like, Country Road is a really expensive brand. So for $8, it, it does feel like a little bit of a steal, but also, I don't know, should, should I cut the sleeves out? Because, like, I can always just wear it and then wear a long sleeve top underneath it. I don't have to have sleeves built in. They would be very easy to cut out, like, very, very easy. Also, the sleeves are, like, kind of like my skin color, but not, so it just kind of makes me look like I have very sickly colored arms. Forgive the outfit guys, I know I'm, I'm wearing jeans and it doesn't entirely match, but this Ross top that Sam picked, what do we think? Sam's smiling. You look like you like it. I like everything. He's just, get yourself a friend like Sam, fully totally supportive, <laughs> no matter what you wear. You wear a potato sack and he'd be like, I love it. This was $5, look, it's got this little, this little tail on it. It's, it's your modesty flap. Modesty <laughs> If you're wearing some pants that are particularly tight on your bum, it is indeed a modesty flap. There you go. It's like a, a little duck tail. Every day we get closer to Jesus. If you can't see my asshole, you can't get to it. <laughs> enough of that. So this is a size 18. So I, I think that potentially the sleeves are supposed to be up on the shoulders, but because it's too big for me, they fall down. But I, I guess it doesn't really matter. That's kind of the style of these milkmaid tops. This is really nice, super comfortable, really very, very, very soft fabric. Uh, this was super cheap, you can't really fault it. Like it's a plain white milkmaid top. What more do you want? You're pulling this off like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that's another one for the sand pile. Woo! The last one. So this top was a little bit of a joint effort between Sam and I because I saw it on the rack and I was like, ooh, nice, nice. And then I put it back and then he came along and took it. This isn't really a Team Sam or a Team Alex, it's just somewhere in between. This one was brand new with the tags, $8. I don't know what I look like, but I'm assuming that I look good. What do you think? Sam doesn't seem to like it. No, 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 no. Do not take it that way. I think with the outfit, like with those pants, no, but like the top, like if I were to, if I would, hold on, let me just hold up here. There, I'm covering up the pants. That looks amazing. Like you look amazing in the top. I don't know what you'd put with it, but I, I just feel like it needs something different. Hang on, let me see. What do you mean you don't like the pants? Well, no, I like You're the crazy. pants. You're crazy. It looks, this is a fit. Oh. This is a fit. Sure, tell me, tell me guys. Is this an outfit? I, yeah. I think it can be, it can be. Oh, by the way, look at the necklace. This is, this is the necklace that we made. Well, you made. Was all you, Alex. I don't know how much success you would have flipping a spoon like this if you don't have a workshop like what Sam has. I'm not entirely sure. There's also the ring. The ring worked out well too. This is all from the same spoon. They matchy matchy. Yeah. And now this is a shopping tote bag. This was $30. And like at first I was like, oh, that's a lot. But also the money's going to charity. And these are completely made from upcycled materials. Vinnie's hires people with disabilities and they have this program where they, they sew things that they can sell in the stores. And some beautiful person has sewed this amazing tote bag and I love it. I think it kind of matches this outfit too, a little bit. Like it's not quite the right color scheme, but is, it, is this like an outfit going on? Yeah. So tell us who you think did better. Uh, was it Sam or was it me? Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. I thought it was great. We did good. Good job. Nice. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're enjoying Christmas so far. And um, yes, to come back tomorrow. I was about to say, we'll see you next time. But no, 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 literally yeah, tomorrow. Literally tomorrow. Yeah, come back more. tomorrow. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.